If you haven't heard of Arduino, it's an entire ecosystem created for playing with and working with microcontrollers. There are many boards available that are considered to be Arduino compatible. There's also software you can download, which is the Arduino development environment that you can use to program. You can also program Arduino using your Android device. Here. The different boards almost everything in the Arduino world is considered to be open source. That means you can go online and find the schematics for these different boards, and you can go and get the source code for the development environment. One of the other cool thing is about Arduino is its ability to stack with these things called shields. For example, we have this MP3 player shield that we can stack on top of a few different Arduinos. This allows us to play music and other sound files. First up we have Arduino's flagship and most popular board the Uno. The Arduino Uno R3 is built around the Atmel Atmega 328p microcontroller. This runs at 16 MHz. The 328p offers 32 kilobytes of flash memory which is used for holding programs, and 2 kilobytes of RAM. There are a total of 20 General Purpose Input Output or GPIO pin, all of which can used as digital input or output. Six of those can be used for pulse width modulation, or PWM. On the other side you'll notice Another six pins that can be used for analog to digital converter or ADC. This board also support one hardware UART, one SPI, one ISC or C port. Noticed that the input output hit pins run at 5 volts, which means you want to be careful if you're trying to connect it to 3.3 volt logic. You could easily damage something. There are two versions of the UNO available. First is the plated through hold version, or PTH. You can remove the microcontroller if you really want. Just be careful doing it. And then there's the SMD, or surface mount version. This uses a lower profile version of the microcontroller, but offers the same functionality as the PTH version. The UNO is a great board if you're just getting started in the world of Arduino or embedded electronics. There's tons of documentation online you can find about it. We hope you enjoyed learning the basics of Arduino UNO. Check out the rest of our microcontroller topics, including Arduino Nano, Arduino Mini, Arduino Mega. Thank you.